Captain Gary Owens, Grovetown Department of Public Safety. At the Department of Public Safety, we do, we do both fire, we do police, we do rescue. And all the uh, officers and the fire rescue personnel, they use Kenwood radio products. We've had nothing but great service out of the radio, the quality of the radio. And that's something that today in America we all miss. We, we look at the quantity, sometimes we don't look at the quality of the product. And that goes back to even Kenwood itself. And we, we like the Kenwood product, and we trust the Kenwood product because it's cost effective. It meets the needs of the city. It meets the needs of the city government. Um, all of the agencies, public works, public safety, probation, we all use the Kenwood product. All of us have that same radio. What is nice is, again, when I go to buy a radio, I'm not having to look at revamping my budget. It's, Kenwood is very cost effective for what we do. And here's the thing, it's also very quality for what we do. You know, obviously, you can see behind me these fire trucks back here. These guys are rough on a radio. I don't expect them to be tender and ginger with the radio. They drop it in these pockets, these jackets, they crawl on them. They rub the Kenwood name off, but you know what? The Kenwood quality stays inside, even though the name's rubbed off. So we like that. As far as quality and cost effectiveness for the radios, um, one of the things that we found out with dealing with, with the Kenwood product, and like I said, we're biased because we've been Kenwood many years. They have phenomenal products, but it's that service, the adaptability, uh, the ability to function what you already have or what you don't already have. The adaptability of the radio, you know, instead of having to, when the narrowband compliance come or when, when we have to move forward and change our radios to different frequencies or whatever, the value of that radio, the portables we have right now, which is a portable radio, uh, is I don't have to go and buy another one. Kenwood and any other company, but Kenwood, could have taken advantage of Grovetown during this time. They could have said, you know what, everybody you have is not going to be compliant, uh, you need to buy this because this is for the future. Kenwood didn't do that. And they didn't take the time of narrow banding to be taking advantage of us. You know, we have 42 users here for radios, plus a plethora of vehicles, you know, that have to have, uh, we could have, we could have had Kenwood come in and say, oh, you got to have this, this, and this, and they didn't do that. And that makes me feel better. I know that I got somebody looking out for me, not looking out for their wallet. But it all boils down to one thing. If I've got a man out there, be a police officer or firefighter, rescue, whatever going on, he can feel confident when he keys his radio, he knows it's going to work. He can feel confident that if he's in a situation that that is a lifeline. And especially with these firefighters, if they're in a burning building, and we, you know, we, we have quite a few fires a year here in our, in our city size, but he's in that building or he's in that operation or whatever he's doing, that he's got a lifeline to the truck. He's got a lifeline to somebody that can hear them. As far as dependability and quality, as far as we're concerned, the Kenwood product has never failed when we've needed it. Sure, things tear up, things are going to tear up, but when we need it, we can always use that radio and that guy that's in that burning building or the officer who is asking for a backup unit or the rescue worker who is cutting that car open using, using his uh, voice-free device, he is knowing that he's getting help. He knows that somebody on the other line is listening.